Matera. Matera. Hooks it back. Come on, Lord. It comes to Carl York. Oh, no. Two seconds to go in the game. Oh. This will be a ripper. The Gold Coast looking for their first win. A lot of the line for the Tigers. We know that, and that'll be the theme of the day, I think. Richmond pressing here. Numbers around the ball. Off the outside of the boot. Merrick. Beautiful goal. They're finding something, Richmond. The Tigers might do enough here. Out comes Day. Got it well to Caddy. Caddy sets sail from home. It's going left to right. Josh Caddy. Trying to make something from nothing. Patrick. Harbrow on the burst. Bounces. Doesn't come back to him. But he gets clear. 30 metres out. Gets the goal. Their opponents are running the defensive side. If it comes out this side, they're in 450. Who will get the clearance? Greg with a smothered kick. Oh, it's coming. Swallow. McKenzie can kick it a long way. Oh, oh. Throws it on the boot. A hero needed. Almost Brennan. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. Matera. Hooks it back. Come on, Lord. It comes to Carmichael. Oh, 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 no. Two oh. seconds to go in the game. Oh. Went down a fish in the pocket and... I was actually thinking at the time, Fish, have a shot. I know there's not much time to go. Um, you know, hopefully he can kick the miraculous goal. But, uh, you know, in the end he did the right thing. He centred the ball, came up and took the mark. And it probably landed in our best small forward that, you know, in Fish Matera, he picks his ball up running away from goal, but his head snaps around and you can actually see what's over his shoulder. And, and if he was the right foot, I'm not sure he would have made the kick, but a left footer turns around and spirals that, uh, or Banana kicks that one over to Carmichael Hunt. Brandon Matera obviously you know, crumbing the ball and you know, finding me sort of on a tough angle um, I think deserves more credit than me actually kicking the footy because if it wasn't for his leg and his vision um, I dare say uh, it would have been a scrap uh, for the footy along the boundary and you know we would have lost the game. The man everybody talked about and he came across from the NRL. I'd come down after the siren and I thought oh I just reckon he's out of his range and um, Malcolm Blight, I could hear through the cans screaming, no, right shoulder, right post. Uh, hopefully he listens to everything I say. Nothing was going through my mind, to be honest. Uh, I just remember just having to get to the top of my run and, and try and kick the footy as uh, true as I could. I was actually pretty confident that he'd go back and kick the goal. He's, he's a pretty good kick from that distance. Um, I remember going up to him and, and saying, mate, it doesn't matter, you know, if you kick it or miss, um, you know, just go through your normal routine. He sort of expressed uh, the same sort of thought that was in my head, and that was, who cares if you miss it? Um, you know, Harley was was near me as well. Uh, said, "Take your time." I know when I was talking to him, he he, um, he didn't seem nervous at all. You know, he seemed pretty confident that he could go back and and, um, and kick it. Pressure situations in the past, it was always trying to calm the mind, uh, make sure there wasn't any too many thoughts going through my head. Just trying to keep it simple. Is he the hero that the Suns believe he is? He definitely is. <laughs> what a story! <laughs> Story. <laughs> Seriously, when it left his boot, uh, it never looked like missing. It was unbelievable. It just had the beautiful jaw and shape of the breeze, and uh, it went through. And I just remember standing there watching the, the clock count down, siren goes, um, and then to see someone who's changed of sport, um, I, I was a little bit confident. And then when it came off his boot so sweetly and was saved straight through the middle, I was directly behind him. Yeah, it was like knife going through my heart at that stage. Look at the Richmond supporters, look at the Richmond players, they are devastated, they are gathered. The story with the night was we get, we get the rugby player marking the ball and having a shot for goal after the siren and, and not looking like it was going to miss for a, for a moment. It's a really exciting moment. It's sort of like one of those Disney telly movies where you know the guy that comes from another you know, sporting code marks the ball and I thought he's not going to miss this, it's just too good an opportunity. The AFL are all sweating on it going through and yeah, it's just one of those things. I guess we, there was always the hope that he was going to miss uh, being a being a convert to the game, uh, but he didn't. It was uh, one of the better kicks I've seen. The moment was never going to get him. Carmichael was a big time player. He's been involved with some great sport, obviously, and, and played pretty well in, in big moments. I don't think that was ever going to be an issue. But for any player, when you're taking the shot off the side, there's a fair bit of pressure that goes on it. Obviously, we made a couple of couple of errors. You know, drop chest mark. Might have dropped a couple actually, I think, through that, and you know, some poor marking. And our setup wasn't right after after the last goal. You know, it was a, it was a calamity of errors. I think we had two or three guys drop chest marks, just fumbled balls you would never think we would fumble. It just felt like sand slipping through your hands. Like it was really, I felt quite removed from the situation because you felt like you couldn't really do anything from it. The errors just kept falling, and 
kept fumbling the ball and they kept making the most of their uh, opportunities. We saw it with you know 70 seconds to go and you know uh, 10 or 11 points down. I, I wouldn't have thought they were really going to kick two goals in almost a minute. Certainly that Carmichael Hunt goal sort of ended any aspirations we had a finals that year. What a story! What a goal! To be part of that team at that time, it would have been epic. It would have been one of the highlights of their career, probably even when the young fellas win premierships in the future. It was a great thing for the, for the team's confidence. Um, you know, we hadn't, hadn't won a game in you know, six to ten weeks, and um, you know, so to get that was a fantastic feeling. We got to sing the song in the rooms, and um, you know, got to keep moving forward and improving.